front wheel bearings, cleaned up all the brake caliper, got the pistons going in and out nice. Doesn't need new pads, unbelievably. It's done like 10,000 miles, but I'd put them in if I needed them, but it's just a waste of time. So it's not having new pads. I've now got the back end apart, because I'm putting new wheel bearings and servicing the rear caliper. Right, this is one bearing out of one side of the rear. That one's all right, but this one is solid. Kev's got a thing. So what is it? Electrolysis with acid? Well, it's like electro-polishing, really. Electro-polishing. Nice. It just, it just takes the weld to So what off. happens if you breathe that vapour in? Is that um, good for you? It's, it, Probably going to make you cough quite a lot. It's handy if you can't actually get into somewhere to clean the weld off. It just takes the blue mark off the oxidation. Because I sing that to Wookie. Oh Wookie, you're so fine, you don't understand. You take me by the heart when you take me by the hand. That's Paul Rabdoll though, isn't it? No, Paul Rabdoll was two steps forward, three steps back, or something like that. Yeah, I'll get a copyright claim because that sounded just like it. But anyway, back to the prologue. Okay, so that's the crankcase breather in situ. Um, that's the uh, the sensor in the intake tube. A little bit to do on the front of that. Um, wiring's done from the other side. Lengthened that wiring from the loom in there. Uh... So now I'm going to change the rear shock absorbers now. It's coming together now, isn't it, Kev? Yeah, slowly but surely. Quarter past ten at night. All this is going on for the last time now. Do you notice how confidently I said that? Right, trial fit. Trial fit. When you've got a Lord come in, you have to make sure the bathroom carpet is clean. <laughs> Sorry about the noise, but Rob's cleaning the bathroom still. Uh, and it's important. So anyway, that's that on there now. I've put some silicon sealer in behind it as well to stop any water getting inside the box. You don't want any water getting inside your box. Um, I'll show you inside in a minute. Okay. That'll do. That's that done.
I'm off for MOT now. Helmet head, he'll be giving it a bit of a plod around before he shoots off to France on the 15th of February. I also am going to go and meet him somewhere in France in February. Hopefully not with a spare monkey bike engine strapped to the back of the GS. Yeah, it should be a good crack. Right then, I'm off for an insanity ride because I obviously have to ride it. Okay, I've been for an MOT, but I have to ride this bike. I mean, I wanted to put... It sounds ridiculous now, but I wanted to put, I don't know, 100 miles on it. I wanted to, but I just got no chance. I, I mean, I'm still here now. It's Friday night. It's, uh, what time is it? 20 to 8. I haven't been able to edit to put a video out, which does upset me, to be totally honest with you, but there we go. Um... Yeah, so I'm going for a ride, it's 0 degrees Celsius. The suspension's awesome, I'm really happy with that, I think he's going to, I think that's one of the main things he's going to notice straight away is the suspension, I hope so, I'm not going to say how much it was, <laughs> but it was a pretty penny sir. Oh, they're after me. They think I'm helmet head. It's all gone wrong, guys. It's really odd only having four gears. I think I'll stick to 40. Wow, my legs are cold. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I've had enough. This is too much. I can't. This is, uh, oh my god. Oh, I don't know what temperature it is, but my hands are freezing. I've got my Kai's gloves on, my winter heated gloves. They're not, you know, they're not plugged in, but jeez. Oh my god, yeah, this is mental. Okay, so that's 7,530 miles. Yeah, this was a stupid idea absolutely ridiculous I can't I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say it again well I'm, I'm gonna say it once more I, I can't believe how cold I am and I've done like what have I done three miles or something and I'm absolutely freezing but I had to get some mileage on the bike I wanted to get a bit of mileage on it and then give her a bit give her a full-on cleanse session I mean, Rob, bless him, he was there cleaning her with all sorts of products. Autosmart products. Other products are available, but why would you? Um, oh, a bend. Oh, a bend. Got a car up my sphincter. I'm running it in, I'm running it in. Get off me, Harris. Can't see. Can't see, I just shut my eyes now. Can't see. Okay, so, oh, nearly kicked the camera over. What I'm doing here, well, I think it's quite self explanatory to be honest. I'm, um, trying to i'm not artistic in the slightest i can't draw um anything like that i'm just a bit crap anyway um what i'm doing is this is helmet head's original chain where he went around the uk on the monkey bike this is the chain that i took off when he came here into western supermare about here um i had this plan ages ago but i haven't had time so now I'm, I'm doing this for the reveal in the morning. It's now Saturday afternoon. 
the bike is pretty much all done all I've got to do now is a bit more cleaning put the panniers on etc and then set up like how I'm going to reveal it kind of thing so what I want to do here is I want to weld I know it's not accurate exactly but it's just a representation really of the UK um, I've got it about as best as I can do one of our guys said oh you've got the south of Scotland jutting out into the sea and another one said you've got north of Wales too high up and all that and yeah granted I, you know I probably have but I'm going to cut his rear sprocket in half and weld it into a stand and weld that at the bottom hopefully um, yeah so I'm going to weld it all together I'm going to put the front sprocket where Hun Stanton is wherever that is I'll work it out and weld it to it um, and that's going to have a, a start and finish on it hopefully or at least an S and an F um, and I'm going to give it to Helmet Head or I might just put, leave it in one of the panniers and say oh there's something in the pannier um, just as a little added sort of thing so a, a sort of a trophy kind of deal if you get what I'm saying you know what I'm saying Okay, I've welded one side together, now somehow I've got to get it off of here to turn it over to do the other side, so... Ooh. Ooh. Ah! Well, so far... I don't think that's too bad. Well, this side now. Oh, shh, that's hot. You'd never believe that was hot, would you? Well, I think. I don't think it's far off, is it? Don't get me. I know it ain't right, but that's not bad. That's not bad. I think I'm happy with that. I'm now going to cut the rear sprocket in half to uh, try and make a stand out of it and then the front sprocket is going to represent where helmet head started and finished from. Okay, that's worked out okay I think. Cut them in half. So now I'm going to cut this one in half again to weld each side of it. I'm just making it up as I go along obviously but I'm going to weld that there like that now and then do the same on the other side I was toying with whether to spray it all black but going to leave it raw eh Rob? Leave it raw! Leave it raw! Right then, I'm going to have a bit of a tidy up in a second but that's that done Rear sprockets at the bottom that's the front sprocket is uh, obviously where he started and finished. I know it's not accurate, but it's a representation is what it is. Bonjour. Bonjour. Just having a little scan round. People are starting to arrive. Oh, hello. It's 11 o'clock, he's live. Uh, thank you everybody for, I would say coming, but it's 23, we can't say that now, so thanks very much for arriving. Before I show you and everybody the motorcycle, because you're gonna be traveling potentially the world, yeah. but obviously Europe, it's gonna be, and it's cold, yeah. first things first, stay looking that way. <laughs> I've got you a special suit. Now this is an all weather, and all weather, you can wear this on the motorcycle all year round, keep you warm. I can wear that now then? You can wear that in a minute yeah. when we go for our little ride. That's got to go so into that, France dressed like that? Definitely, absolutely. I, I will, little disclaimer. Have you worn it already? I have worn it. Worn it in? I've, I've worn it. It's not... Is it, it washed? <laughs> slightly soiled, slightly soiled, but it's all good. Um, one other thing before I show you the bike. Um, now, this, I just want to point out to everybody, I'm not artistic at all. 
right? Yeah, I'm not artistic at all. I've never done this before, but I thought I'd give it a go. It's a representation. Where's Will? It's a representation. It's not that accurate, but it's a representation. <laughs> when you were here last time, don't look this way. When you were here last time, I had the old chain off the monkey bike. So what I've done is I've made the chain <laughs> and the sprockets into the UK. That's amazing. That's, that's, that's the rear sprocket. That's the front sprocket. And that little bit there is a bit of your old rack. That's awesome. Wow. So that's uh, a representation of your ride around the UK. And that's the chain that did it. That's cool. Thank so, you. Yeah, that yeah, didn't man. take me long at all. <laughs> 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 so that's that. Um, how, long, how, how long did that take? Uh, a few hours yesterday. Oh, that's cool. I was going to do it before, before all this happened. I thought I'd do it anyway, but yeah, obviously yeah. now I've done it to... Oh, hello. We've got a monkey. <laughs> um, so that's that. Um, Kibby, do you want to grab the other side of this and give me a hand to do the... Well, I, I, just, I, if I raise the ramp, I mean, it won't go just, high enough. Just before we do, yeah. I think obviously Lee's put a lot of time and effort in, man hours. He's basically closed his business almost for weeks. Um, so I just want everyone to give him a round of applause, just as a thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right. OK. Let's uh, pull one off then, Kibby. Right, Quality masking tape, that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's, still, it's still got a wheel. We're all right. Right, ready? <laughs> Language. Oh, I have to swear. <laughs> Look at the 10 shakes, still there. Look at it. Lee said to me about how big are my shoes. I take yeah. it's because of this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so if you remember the suspension was really soft. Yeah. Basically, I've had custom springs made for the forks. So all the internals are YSS internals, but they, they made them. Um, um, for between 90 and 110 kilos, they can take. Wow, okay. right? Yeah. So, so that's, that's the front forks. Yeah, it's got adjustable, you can't see from there, you can only see through, but it's got adjustable YSS rear shocks. Wow. You can adjust the dampening and the uh, preload on them. Right, I've done, it's got a new barrel and piston, decoked all the head. Um, it's, we've had to alter, well, make most of the exhaust. It's still got the 10 shit end can, um, but we had to refabricate and make all this because obviously the exhaust used to be up here. Yeah. But now you've got all this. There was nowhere else to put the exhaust. So the exhaust but it still is, says is, 10 shit. It still, still says that. <laughs> um, so yeah, we made that. Um, it's got new wheel bearings. It's had a full service. Um, new clutch, uh, new spark plug. Oh, this didn't have that sensor in there before. That's right, yeah, I zip tied it out of the way. Yeah, so this is your original intake, but we've made two brackets for it to hold it in properly. Um, and also got rid of the pipe where the crankcase breather went into there. And oh, that's yeah. got its own breather now. Um, that sensor is now in there where it's supposed to be. Yeah. Um, wow. This little rack on the front probably won't carry a lot, but it, it's something. Put the little screen on it. Thanks, dude. That didn't take long, did it? No. <laughs> um, yeah, what else have we done? Um, oh, yeah, OK. So, obviously, the, the main thing that everybody can see is the panniers. But the thing is, this bike was never intended to carry panniers. Yeah, you can't so buy them. that was... Oh, yeah, you've still got the sort of original rack, but not. So it's not like that, is it, anymore? The rack has been completely cut up. It's had steel bar slotted down inside the tube. Bloody hell. And then all welded back together. But it's also, we're a fan of gussets here. What's so, gussets? Gussets. What's gussets? <laughs> so, it's got, a, it's got, well, if you, you can see, there's loads of gussets. There's gussets all over the place. Um, so, yeah, that's all been fabricated. Yeah. That's really strong now. Now, this 
this rack was originally because I had to when I bought the panniers I had to buy a rack so that you got like the square frame from to go into yeah like on a GS and then weld it so that that framework I bought a, I bought the framework that had as many bits of tubular metal on as possible because we knew we were just going to cut it all off to make the rack fit this bike yeah yeah so that's actually for a BMW F650 um, and then we chopped all of it off we, we kept making it, but every time we did it, you couldn't get the seat off. Right, okay. So it was, been a, it was an absolute nightmare to make it so that, well, it worked for a start, and you could get the seat off and get that panel off the side. And then I thought, right, he needs more fuel. My original thought was to put a fuel can on the front, and then I thought... That's not really that safe, but then I thought, well, it's helmet head. It's Be all right, fine. 11 out of 10. But it, it wasn't working, and I didn't want any weight from the centre of the rear wheel back. I didn't want any more weight because yeah. there's already loads in there, and I know you're going to overload it. Not so, now. Yeah, so I, I didn't want any more weight from there back, so that's why I put the fuel can there. That's why I asked you what size feet you got. That's I've ridden it like that. Um, you do know it's there. But hey, you can't have everything. You've got to compromise somewhere along the line. That's Do you know what I mean? It's a new barrel and piston, Sorry. so you've got to run it in a bit. Don't ram the tits of it when it's cold. You know what I'm saying, Jay? I do indeed. We've had another two weeks worth of work. Yeah. It's cool. What do you reckon? I love it. Seriously love it. I just want to go. You know when you just want to jump on it now and go? It's exactly what I want to do. But we're all going to go for a ride. We are. So shall we all get ready? Ride yeah, out? Yeah, let's all get ready and um, go for a ride. Right, we're getting ready to, uh, getting ready to shoot off. Sidekick is on his trusty Vespa. Another monkey bike, that's Tattoo Dave. Cheers, Pete. GS of monkey bikes. Right, yeah, I can go with that, yeah. It literally glides. When you're going down the road, you don't feel bumps now, just do this. It's yeah. Just... It's obviously, it's, I've set it up to carry a bit of weight. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't know why I said yeah, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I anticipated, you know, what you were going to carry, etc. Um, but yeah, you can, you can, you can adjust. I've got the, um, the dampening on soft, yeah. and I've got the preload wound, well, quite a bit. Well, you've not even halfway. You can go loads more, I was but say, I mean, but it's now it is perfect. So you're loving it, yeah? <laughs> it's like a, it's a whole different bike. Is it? To ride, completely different. It doesn't feel like it did at all. Really? Yeah, honestly, everything about it, it's just smooth. And then I keep touching knees. I, I know as you keep I touching keep, so them. Almost, I'm just going right. Pants. Because I only took two pants on the last one. Whole bag of pants now. I did think that, yeah. pants, yeah. Wardrobe. Because you are a bit limited with this, because if you see, there's just a peg, a, pi a pin in there, and a pin in the bottom there, look. Yeah. So it's all just on that, so just you pants. can't, you, yeah, pants. pants. If they get a bit wet, air dry. Nice. I think it. Nice touch, yeah. Food. Yeah. Yeah. 
and then camera stuff. Yeah. Bit of boom, bit of big. Sorted, eh? Next level. So you're happy? Yeah, proper happy. Good. Proper happy. What you've done, it's a historical day. Yeah. And it's, it's turned out all right, hasn't it? Yeah, a few people oh. stand up. Tattoo Dave, this is Tattoo Dave, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. There, no, no, I'm introducing you oh. to YouTube, Tattoo Hi, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this is Tattoo Dave's monkey bike. See the difference? Yeah. So, in summary, how do you think today's gone? I've been lost for words a lot of time today. <laughs> and all I've literally said, I think when I've been filming, all I've literally said is, is wow, amazing, how well I've been looked after and how amazing that bike is. I mean, you've got to be proud of the bike yourself because it's that good. Because for me, it's like, mind blown. To be honest, I haven't had time to take, to, it, in. To take it in. So, a little bit of riding along today, I was behind it and, and then I was feeling a bit of that i haven't had time really but it was um quite bizarre because i'm used to watching your videos yeah. and seeing you riding along on it how it used to look and now riding along behind it seeing how it looks now it is literally like a mini gs adventure it is isn't you it? Know? yeah if i had the panniers on that you could see like i mean people know that the comparison but yeah, I'm really happy with it, especially after sitting on Tattoo Dave's standard one. And feeling that, yeah. yeah, the whole ride is like I've said on during my videos is that you're riding it and it's like I'm going over bumps on purpose because it just stays smooth. Where before you would be like this, oh, it's yeah. bottoming out. It's just, it's literally moving a little bit, but not enough. It's gliding. Yeah. It's a gliding bike. Now. When um, When I took the forks out, as people will see if they watch the video of where I was doing all the work to it, you could you could you could hold the fork stanchion in your, you know the, and and you could you could push it in and out. It's almost like a toy, like it's yeah. like they've done the basic to it sort of thing. They um, cheaped out on the suspension ridge, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. And when when I saw Dave sat on his earlier in, in Western on the seafront and he got on it, I watched the travel as he got on it and I thought, wow. But I mean, yours was shocking, but one of your shocks had completely gone. I don't yeah, know if I you said know that. that. Yeah, I said it every time I hit anything, it bottomed out yeah, every well, the, time. It was leaking all the fluid out of it. I think it was the one on this side. Yeah. It, it was completely shot. Um, so combined with that and the front end being so, um, I, I, I won't use the word crap, but I mean, they're done as, I guess the basic is, but to be fair, they've done something right because that is a really reliable engine. Yeah. Um, well, now so yeah, I'm, I'm I'm happy with how the day went. It's just it's a whole new bike, really, isn't it? It's a whole yeah. different setup. The whole bikes, it's ready yeah. to conquer the world. It is literally load yeah. them up and go. You've created a well-dominated. Yeah. Well, machine. I mean, obviously, like I said to you before, it's uh, I'm lucky to have a secret weapon. Um, and my secret weapon is uh, Fabrication Kev. Um, I call Fabrication Kev, and he, he's been round here literally three o'clock in the morning with me before. And on this, me and him were here till half eleven one night, um, yeah. gone midnight another night. Um, he's he's awesome. And uh, between, you know, having him in my toolbox basically, um, and everything else, yeah, it's it's gone really well. No, you need to um, make more of them and more of them. Because all the people are going to come yeah. now and go, I yeah. want panniers, because I've never seen panniers on a monkey. On a monkey bike, yeah. And this is the first. And maybe even many. Hopefully, it won't be as cool as mine. It won't be worth as much because I've got a helmet sticker on. But Exactly. I'll, I'll be is. surprised if other people want one, but if they do, then, yeah, they know where to come. It's a beast. Um, but all in all, I think today's gone really well, and we've been really lucky with the weather, haven't we? Yeah. Really because that could have really I mean as I said on uh, on camera earlier I had messages of quite a few of my 
um, friends that were supposed to be coming this morning, um, their vaginas had all iced over and, um, and they couldn't make it. Um, there's nearly, and you nearly can 40, see where, nearly 40 well, bikes. I didn't count actually, was nearly, it? I didn't count either, but I did, it was over 30 you said, so I reckon it's got to be near 40 at right. the peak of it. Right, can you get, can't you count? No. Right, okay, no, he, he goes to 12 and he, he's, he's lost, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so uh, I think all in all, the day has been a success. Uh, the the food, um, I got to hand it to Will in the club, he organised all the food. Uh, Neil organised the, the route, um, everybody, the blockers, awesome, didn't yes. they do a good job? Yeah, it was, le- woof, stop, woof, yeah. stop, I've never uh, seen that either, and we, yeah. it was like clearing the path, Yeah, yeah. And we yeah. just flowed and yeah. flowed and flowed. It went really well. So yeah, all in all, I think, I think it's been an 11 out of 10 day, hasn't it? It's been amazing, it's been breathtaking, 11 out of 10. Cheers, dude. Cheers, man. <laughs> just brilliant. And uh, that'll do. We'll both catch you on the next one, I reckon. France. France. Oui, la France. Au revoir. Mange too, Rodney. <laughs> <laughs>